So, you just bought a commercial coffee brewer and you're wondering how it works. Well, this video is designed to give you a peek into how a commercial coffee brewer actually works. This animation represents a pour-over style brewer that has a holding tank. Your brewer will arrive empty. Do not plug it in. The unit will need to be filled with water first. If you plug in the brewer, you will most likely destroy the heating coil. The first step is to pour a full carafe of cold water into the pour-over basin. As you can see, the first pot of water will fill your holding tank approximately one-third to half full depending on your specific model. After pouring in the second pot of cold water, your holding tank will be almost full. Now you are ready to pour in one more pot of cold water. After pouring your third carafe of water, you'll notice that some water should make it through to the brew basket and down into the carafe. Some models may take a little more or less water. Regardless, the tank is full when water runs into the carafe below. At this point, you're ready to plug in the coffee brewer. Make sure that everything is off on your machine before you plug it in. After plugging it in, you may turn on the tank heater and the brewer. If equipped, you should see the ready light come on in 20 to 30 minutes. If a ready light is not installed, wait about 30 minutes after turning on your brewer before making a pot of coffee. When you're ready for that first cup of coffee, remove the brew basket, place the correct filter in it, add coffee, and then replace the brew basket into the slot. Now you're ready to pour in your water and start brewing your coffee. For a full pot of coffee, pour in a full pot of water. For a half pot of coffee, pour in a half pot of water. Notice how the cold water comes in and is directed to the bottom of the brewer, pushing the hot water out and into the spray head, which in turn soaks the coffee grounds and eventually runs through the brew basket and into the pot below. The same way your water was heated the first time, the cold water you just poured in will also be heated. Most commercial coffee equipment can be left on between brews. If you leave the brewer on for an extended period of time without using it, however, evaporation will occur. If you aren't going to be using it for a couple of days, it would be best to turn the brewer off and therefore the tank heater off. If the brewer water evaporates, damage to the tank heater will occur. For more information on commercial coffee brewers or restaurant beverage equipment in general, subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a call. And as always, thank you for watching our video.